Hello everyone, welcome back to the Swift Academy. My name is Sajjad Sarkubi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a generic networking layer with the latest technology inside the Swift called Combine. You are already familiar with the URL session and you are going to use them inside your application. But all know that we have to have a generic class to handle all the networking calls for us. For example, when we are going to getting data or sending data to the server. With this layer that I'm going to introduce it to you, the, all the things happen inside the background thread. And then when the response come back from the server, it's going to be parsed based on the model that you presented to the uh, API router. And then it will be modeled and give it back to you on the main thread. It is a cool idea. So come with me, I will show you how you can use this wonderful generic networking layer. Okay guys, you can find the link of this project inside the description. I created a sample project based on the Swift UI, but you can use and import the networking folder inside your UI kit project as well. I created uh, a bunch of description here as you can see here and discuss about every details that you may need it for your project. As you can see, this layer is going to be support get, post, put, delete, and all the other HTTP methods that you are going to need for that. But most of us using the get and post. It has uh, four main classes, and then I'm describing how you can create a get request and a post request, and then send it back to the server. At the end, for the bonus, I added a logger to the, this project that you can use it inside your application as well. This logger is uh, going to show you uh, what's the message that you wanted to present it inside the console, in what class, in what line of the code, in what function it happened. And also you can specify it is an alert, it is an info, or it is just a warning for you. So come with me, I will show you inside this code how this, this sample project is going to be work. To showcase our sample application, I use a dummy JSON website that it is going to give us uh, some kind of the endpoints as a sample. You can use this website or some kind of familiar website like this to just test uh, your environment when you are going to send something to the server or getting something to the server. You are going to use the get products and post products in this uh, project. As you can see, inside this sample project in Swift UI, um, first of all, we are getting a list of the products here. And then if I click uh, to the add product, I can, I'm going to post something, post a new product to the server. But this is not our main focus. If I'm going to open the networking folder, we are going to see four classes here. All these four classes is required when we are going to have this uh, generic networking layer but uh, most of the time we are going to use just uh, one class here called API Router. We are going to describe it in details more. But first of all, let me describe each section. API Parameters, it's going to contain a strike called API Parameters, and then inside that strike, we have some nested ones that required for each endpoint. For example, uh, this strike called product params is going to uh, add the escape and limit to the end of our URL. And then when we are going to adding a product to the server and send it as a post uh, HTTP method, we need a title for that. So we are going to use this uh, strike here. All the data that we need to get or send to the server needs a parameter's name. So we are going to put all our parameters here as a strike and mark them as uh, encodable because later on we are going to uh, convert this uh, strike to the dictionary and pass it uh, to the, our networking layer. API constants is just uh, having all the constants that we needed for uh, calling the endpoint. You can just have uh, one base URL or you can have multiple URLs that we're going to use inside your application. And HTTP header fields, content type. These are uh, just uh, setting one time in your, inside your project and we are not going to touch it inside your entire project, hopefully. Uh, then we have the API router. 
this is the place that then we are going to add uh, something new for our project we are going to add it here for example when we have a get request we are going to create another struct here and confirm it to the request it should be a return type this return type it means that the model that this generic networking layer should be uh, parse the data back to that model for you the path as you can see it is products where I get it I get it from here you see it is a get and then products and we should specify the method that we are going to use it is going to be get and we have the query parameters for that and we are going to initialize it here as a query params and then inside the initializer, as you can see, we specify it should be the product param that we are already described inside the API parameters. Then it is going to be automatically parsed as a dictionary here for us. Then even for the post request, I forgot to put the comment here. It is the post request for us. As you can see, we specify the model that it is going to be returned to us the path exactly but here we are going to say okay this is the HTTP method called post and we have the body for the post it is just the same as the uh, query params but you already know that the post is different rather than get so uh, we're doing the same thing here but in the background in our API client class it knows that when it is the post it should be uh, convert this dictionary to the body type for us uh, all the things, all the magic things happening here inside our API client class here. But you are not going to touch it anymore. If you want to uh, read this in details, it will be uh, so good for you because you understand what is going to uh, behind the scene for you. But uh, all the protocol and extensions for the request, all the things here, and it is going to be uh, doing all the requests for you in the background thread and returning back on the main thread for you. Also, in the console, it is going to show you what endpoint call, what is the method, and uh, what was the response HTTP status code for you. And it is also handling all the HTTP status code errors for you as well, that you can actually see the result in the console or catch it later. Uh, let me show you how it's going to be work inside the real project and what is going to be printed inside the console for us. Let me bring up the simulator and build the app to see what is happening inside our console when we are going to do all the requests. So the app build and as you can see, the request actually called. It has a get request with the, all the paths that you can see with the query parameters with the API constants that we define as a, our base URL and our path and then it has the query parameters inside it. So all the things actually consist uh, inside our project and it's going to be combined together and uh, created our URL for us. Uh, the response here, uh, it shows that it is uh, the 200, it means it is successful as the HTTP status code and it's going to show us what kind of the URL responded because maybe our application is going to be called so many URLs inside our project and it is so good to see what was the response of uh, which URL and what's happening inside your project, your real project. This is what uh, why we are going to use the generic networking classes and if you want to see uh, how we created this uh, and call this endpoint here if uh, you open the product view model here you can see that inside our function uh, get products we just call the api client that dispatch as i said you don't need to touch this api client unless you are going to change something based on your project then your API client just need uh, an API router to do the things for you, to call the endpoint. Inside our API routers, we are going to specify all the things. It is a get, it is a post, what kind of the parameters it need, as you saw inside the get products function, uh, structure, sorry. 
uh, you see that we have the paths we have the you specify the http method we specify what kind of the parameters is going to be used then uh, we simply when we are going to call this endpoint here inside the api client we specify all of them and then the response is going to be used uh, the combined technology the combine is so easy if you are not familiar with that i really encourage you to take a look at uh, some kind of the description or documentation related to a combine and how you are going to use that but uh, this is just because of the you are going to using the swift ui uh, i use the property wrapper at sign published here for uh, passing the data from our view model to the, uh, the view that you are going to use if you are going to use this uh, networking layer inside your UI kit application uh, you can either using the combined technology or uh, you can use the binding uh, methodology that I created uh, a course inside the, the YouTube inside my channel I put the link inside the description as well you can check it out you can simply using the binding or you can using the combine to pass it the data to the your views or view controllers as soon as I uh, pass the data or associated it with our uh, product inside our view model the our view is going to be updated and because we are a good developer we know that maybe the, the response is coming from another thread so we have to use the big cell for uh, not creating the uh, strong references inside our view model although this api client passed the data inside the main thread for representing the data but it is safe to uh, add the big self here the post methodology is just the same you just going to be called the api client as well and then you specify your router for example here we have the add product and inside our port add product we have the body you know that this is a post technology post uh, methodology http method for calling the uh, server to passing the data to the server not getting back the data so uh, we have to use the body here and all the things related to the get and the post happening inside the api client our api client knows that how you can how it's going to be handled when it is the post with the body or when it is the get with the query parameters then we specify uh, our parameters here and calling the response uh, the server and then getting back our response here and parse it for us as the model that we specified okay let's see how it's going to be work when we are passing the data or trying to post something to the server let me clean the console here okay our product called abc i'm going to add as you can see the post happened for us uh, and then the response is successful it means that http status code is 200 and because it is a post request we are not going to see any uh, query parameters here or anything inside our url because happening inside the body uh, as i told you about our logger uh, you can see that it is happening here we like some info here it is going to show us it is info and uh, in what line of the our class happens you see and then what is the uh, product what is the function and uh, what was happening there so this is the text that you pass it here you can use this login inside your application it is a cool feature because you can see what is happening inside your project instead of just printing something and you don't know uh, what is the ad print coming from it is so good to see that how uh, you like something and uh, from which kind of the class or what line, kind, line of the code or uh, what kind of the function you are trying to uh, pass something or write something inside the console so that's all it it is so simple with these kind of the four classes that i just show you you can have a robust um, and generic networking layer and you can use it for your uh, even enterprise applications uh, without any issue so uh, i really hope you are going to use uh, this kind of the generic networking layers inside your applications and make uh, the life easier for you if you like this video please subscribe to my channel i will put a lot of uh, videos like this to improve your day-to-day -day programming and uh, make you ready for the enterprise applications have a nice day. See you next time.